This morning with you has been amazing. I already feel like I'm in the Zen zone. Is there any yoga movements that you think a beginner yogi could try and incorporate into their day? Absolutely. I'll, I'll run through some. I just want to make sure that everyone remembers that breathing is the most important part in any yoga class that you go to. It moves you into a posture, during a posture and out of a posture. It really keeps you in the moment. So let's breathe. Press the hands at the top of the mat as you inhale. And we're going to come into child's pose. So it's a rest pose. The knees can be wide, the big toes touch, and we're going to sit simply down onto your heels. So it's a pose you can come into at any time throughout any practice. That's it. And just allow your forehead to soften into the earth. Let your shoulders relax a little. So we try and keep our inhalations even and as long as you can. And then from here, press those hands. We're gonna come into downward facing dog. So it's a pose that you'll see in most classes. We're gonna press those fingers, keep them wide, and then tuck your toes under and we're gonna lift the hips right up towards the sky. Just make sure that your hands are shoulder distant and your feet are hip distant apart. And then just drop your head a little, chin to your throat, and breathe deeply here. So it's a beautiful pose, it's very energizing, brings vitality to your whole body, your whole being. And then slowly on our inhalation, let's keep walking all the way to the top of your mat. You can take as many steps as you need, allow your feet to join. You can bend your knees if your back feels a bit sore and then let's exhale and just hang over your legs. Let the head go, let the neck be soft. And as we ground our feet, we're gonna roll all the way up, bend the knees still, let your head come up last, coming all the way to standing. And here we are at the top of your mat. You can bring your hands towards your chest. So we stand up nice and tall and proud. This is your mountain pose. So let's come into a simple sun salutation. It just warms your body up. Inhale, we're gonna scoop the arms all the way up. Look up towards your thumbs, strong legs and arms. And then exhale, reach the arms out and down. You can bend your knees and drop your hands so they're flat to the floor. Inhale, let's lift up to our fingertips. Keeps the spine nice and long here. And then exhale, plant the hands strongly and we'll step one leg distance back on your exhalation. That's it, and then drop to your knees. Still exhaling, let's let the belly soften in towards the earth. From here, we're just gonna lift a little way, so the hands and chest lift. No higher than this, because the belly's touched and we're protecting our lower back. And then exhale, press the hands, chin to your throat, lift to your knees, tuck your toes under, and up we come towards downward facing dog. You can press through the balls of your feet, you can walk it out a little bit. Breathing deeply, strong through the arms and keep the hips right up towards the sky. Taking a couple more here. Let's keep walking all the way up, using an inhalation. And then exhales to fold down, it's a softening breath. Inhale the arms all the way up. So the inhale's uplifting, it lengthens you. And then exhale, we bring the hands back towards your heart center. And now you'll be warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do a few of these, you could do three, maybe five of these, and it's a great way to start your day. So, like most women, we're, we're busy. If I'm feeling a little bit stressed, is there anything you can recommend that I do to relieve that feeling? This is a great posture and anyone can do this one. It's called Shavasana, it's a rest pose. It's like a power nap, if you like. So we're gonna literally come onto our back and lay flat. If your lower back's a bit sore though, you can always pop something underneath your knees. It allows the spine to drop in towards the earth. So we're gonna lay down, let your feet just flop out. We lay flat, let your palms face upward. And as we lay flat like this, it allows all your organs to breathe. Your mind simply sits on the rhythm of your inhalations and your exhalations. And you can be in Shavasana, this active rest pose, for about five to ten minutes, allowing the heart to rest, your nervous system to calm down, wiggling your fingers and toes as your awareness comes into your physical body. And then let's inhale and lengthen your arms up and away from your toes. You expand. And then whenever you're ready, you can bend both knees. 
Inhaling fully and exhale, slowly roll to your right side. You can rest your head onto your arm like a pillow. And then whenever you're ready, we can slowly inhale up to a cross-legged seat. Definitely feel less stressed. <laughs> yeah, I think they should lock the door in an aerobic class so people can't escape and, and miss the benefits of, the, of Savasana. Absolutely. Yeah. You're better off shortening your practice and making sure that you lay in Savasana for at least five minutes after the end of any practice, no matter how short your practice is. Another way is to centre yourself. So a twist is really great. Um, and you can do this at any time throughout the day. So if you're feeling a bit tired, this is a great way to give you a gentle boost, boost of energy. So we're gonna bring the right hand to your left knee and bring your left fingers behind you. And then we're gonna gently twist. So as you inhale, just really lift through the belly and then exhale, just turn a little bit more and look past your back shoulder. So you can do this for about five breaths in total. Our next inhalation, let's just turn the head, look forward, and then exhale, we'll release on more switch sides. So always make sure that you balance out your sides. Again, lifting up through your inhalation, and then just turn a little bit more. So you can do this mid-afternoon. If you're feeling a little bit tired, you can do it at your desk. Lengthening through the spine and turning a little bit more soft eyes. And then after your five breaths, let's inhale, turn the head, look forward, and then exhale, we'll slowly release. Mm. This is good, right? And the last thing I want to share is um, one of my client Miranda Kerr's favourite poses, which is the tree pose. It keeps you really grounded, balanced and focused. So if you're traveling a lot, it also allows you to really connect with the earth and be exactly where you are. So let's come up to standing. So you can be on the grass or your mat, either way. And we're gonna ground our feet into the earth and your hands can come to your hips. So the heel rests onto your ankle bone. That's it. And this is a variation of tree, tall and proud. And then look at one point ahead of you. It helps with your focus and concentration. And then you can always stay here. This is an option. Otherwise, maybe your feet, your toes lift. That's it. If that feels okay, we can always use our hand or just bring your foot below the knee or above the knee. So that's always an option too. Just not on your knee. Use a nice deep inhale. Don't worry if you wobble a little bit. That's it, and then press the foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot. Keep breathing, keep looking at one point. Remember, don't worry if you fall out of the pose, you just simply pick yourself up and come back in. And we'll join our hands to our chest. Inhale fully and then exhale, let's drop the hands to the hips, release the foot, and then you can walk it out. Wow, let's, let's try the other side. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> we've got to even ourselves out. Okay. Ground the foot. <laughs> and then press down and feel the earth beneath you, keeps you grounded. And then exhale, release the hands to the hips and the leg down. You did it. Oh yes, I need to practice a bit more, I think. <laughs> but it felt good. I know you've inspired me, so hopefully you'll inspire the women watching this video to do a little bit more yoga and to actually find that time, because I, th I think it's really important to devote that time to yourself and to your breathing. Thank Absolutely. You. Namaste. Thank Namaste. you. Thank oh, give you. me a hug. <laughs>